Hi, welcome to Dreamcatcher, the program where you can find peace through understanding dreams and visions. Jeremy Lyle hears from heaven. One day the voice he heard was the voice of his grandmother. And Bill is going to encourage you. The Lord can give instruction, and not just to you, but for your seed and for your seed seed. In 2020, the Lord speaks to me again in January. And he tells me to leave that church. And I love that church. I mean, I, I've been there for 10 years, and, and, and they were ones that, 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 that prayed over me and mm-hmm. nourished me, and, and they were my family. Yeah. And I cried. Yeah. I mean, I cried. Mm-hmm. But you know what I did? I left that church. Yeah. And when I did, God began to speak to me like I've never known before. See, that's what happens mm-hmm. when we begin to obey Christ. Right. When we, when, 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 and we step out in true um, reverence for Him mm-hmm. and we begin to seek Him, He begins to talk to us. Right. He begins to tell us things that are coming. And see, God is not a God of secrets. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> no. He tells yeah. His people mm-hmm. what's coming. And, and He tells people who... Who are chasing him? Who are who, who are wanting him? Who are listening to him? Who are eating his words mm-hmm. and digesting them? My my daddy died in November the fourth, and my grandmother died right before that um, in s- s- September, and both of them went to church. But you know they uh, they were never um, they were never um, really active in church right. you know, but, uh, but, but but the Lord spoke to me um, about a year right before our, my grandmother died, and He said your grandmother's going to die, so I, I had already been speaking to her. Now I will tell you, she she, she got saved uh, many years ago, and Larry Bicey. Uh, led her to, to Christ, oh. uh, but, but the Lord led me to her to speak into her life, and I would call her and I'd say, "Granny, have have you said your prayers to, to tonight?" And she said, "Yes, I have." Yeah. And I said, "Have you told Jesus that you love Him and that you asked Him to forgive you for your sins?" Mm-hmm. She said, "Every day." <laughs> and so, so, my, so yeah. me and my granny had a time mm-hmm. to spend. With each other, and the Lord told me to take some crosses to my mom's house that week. And that week, she died. I was in town, and and I got so the, yeah you were there. yeah. So so I got the call. Uh, I think it was that Thursday. Said she was dying, and she 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 stayed in her house. I spent Friday uh, all day with Friday, all day Friday night. And she died Saturday around 7.15 that day. And I prayed over Granny. I read her scripture. Mm-hmm. She wasn't awake, but she was breathing. And, and I just prayed over her. I, I, I read Luke 3. The Spirit Luke, got it. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I, was, I was bathing her in the Word. Mm-hmm. I was just making sure right. that she knew the gospel, that she... Right grabbed on to the gospel, Mm -hmm. that she believed that Jesus is the Lamb of God. And I can tell you, I saw my granny take her last breath. Mm. And it was a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. And she just, she just, and she drifted away. Mm -hmm. Within an hour, my granny began to talk to to me. I know that sounds crazy. And some people think think I'm crazy, but uh, but, but that's okay. But she began began to talk to me. And she, she said, I just want to thank you for spending time with me. Yeah. She said, I heard every word you said. Yeah. She said, she said, heaven is beautiful. And she said, heaven is worth it. Now, I don't guess she was allowed to, to tell me anything else. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She, she didn't tell me how it looked. Mm-hmm. She, she just kept thanking me, yeah. thanking me yeah. for, for the time that I invested into her life. And, and after a couple of days, that voice stopped. 
If there's a promise in God's word, you grab a hold of it and say, it's mine. He says, but you shall be like a tree planted by rivers of waters. You're not going to be a tree planted in the desert where there's no life. Join Pastor Johan at Love's Way Church, Sunday morning at 10 a.m. and Wednesday evening at 6.30 p.m. Well, my daddy, um, my, my daddy, of course, got the COVID and he got sick and he stayed in the hospital for about three or four weeks. I think the fourth week, they, they said that, that your daddy does not have the virus no more. And so, so I, I, I went to stay with him. Mm-hmm. And the Lord told me, he said, get ready for, for what you're about to, to, to see. And so I stayed two days there with my daddy, and I bathed him in the Word. I, I, I read Luke 3, mm-hmm. Luke t- t- 23. I read, I read some Psalms. Mm-hmm. I, I just prayed over my dad. I, I bathed him in the Word, and, mm-hmm. and I prayed over him, and I began to call upon God. Well, Dad was unconscious all this time. But something amazing happened. Uh, Saturday night around uh, 7 o'clock, my dad wakes up. He wakes up. And uh, he's conscious. I mean, he's talking and I'm talking and I say, Dad, I, I, I love you. He says, I, I, you know, he can just speak barely. He says, I love you too. And I, and I said, Daddy, I said, listen, I said, I said all you got to do is call out to, right. to, to G- Jesus. I said, I said, all you got to do is say, help me. Help me, Jesus. And, and you've got to know my daddy. He was, he was a, he was a, daddy did it his own way. Mm-hmm. It was his way. My daddy was the most stubborn, stubborn man you've ever met. It was his way all the way. But I can tell you, in those three hours, he became like a child. Mm-hmm. He, he, be, he became, she became humble. Yeah. And he humbled himself. And he'd say, Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. And he said it over and over again. And I looked right in his eyes and I said, Daddy, I said, I said, I said, just ask Jesus to forgive you for your sins. Yeah. And his eyes got this big. And, and, and after that period alone, and I believe my daddy did. Mm-hmm. I believe in my daddy's mind mm-hmm. he asked that mm-hmm. question. And I believe that there's going to be millions and millions of people on their deathbed that are going to get saved. I do too. I, I, I believe that. I do too. And, and that's the reason why we as believers need to bathe our loved mm-hmm. ones in the gospel mm-hmm. if we can yeah. right before they die. I agree. And, and so, um, so they come back that Sunday morning, and they say, something's wrong. Your dad is going down. Well, I knew he was dying. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and they said, and your daddy's got COVID again. Well, I'd already begun to sweat, mm-hmm. and I knew there was something wrong. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, and I said, Lord, I said, and, and they told me. They said, your daddy has COVID again, and, and he's going to die. And they escorted me out, and I could not see my daddy again. Mm-hmm. So, so the, 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 he t- told me that the, the, he said, "You need to self quarantine yourself." Mm-hmm. And I went to South Fulton, where my mom lives, and I quarantined myself from everybody. Mm-hmm. I stayed by myself for 14 days, mm-hmm. and, and the Lord spoke to me that Sunday morning when I was in hospital. He said, "Your faith is about to be tested." And I can tell you, I got turned upside down again. I, I, I said, I've got COVID. I said, so, you know, fear came upon me. Right. Well, I, I went home and I just said, Lord, I, I said, I said, I'm going to trust in your word. Mm-hmm. And I began to read the book of Psalms. I and mean, I read the whole book of Psalms in like 10 days. Mm-hmm. I, I read it. I read mm-hmm. verse to verse, chapter to chapter. And I began to call upon God. I began to get on my hands and knees and and, and something began to happen to me. Um, my body would heat up. It, it, it would go into a fever, and I'd sweat like I've never sweated before. Mm-hmm. I mean, sweat just began to roll off of me about 3 o'clock, about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. 
I'd begin to sweat and it would stop around 4.30 to 5 and I'd feel better. And then at night, my, my fever would raise up again mm -hmm. and, and I'd sweat again. I mean, sweat tremendously. Mm -hmm. I've never sweated that much in my life. Yeah. I'd wake up in puddles and I'd have to move over to the next side. Mm -hmm. And I just begin to pray to God and, 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 and I believe that God was just sweating it out. Mm -hmm. you, you know, f f fevers do mm -hmm. destroy the virus. Yeah. And so after about, after about seven days, I went and got tested and, and they said I, I didn't have the virus. But I, I, you know, I don't know if I did or not, but, mm -hmm. but I can just tell you, I, I went through a major ordeal. Yeah. And so I stayed there for, for seven more days. So apparently the virus had died. Yeah. But it was gone. And so I was, I was driving to, to, to Union City about that, that, that 14th day and I was getting checked again. Mm -hmm. And I was in line and I'd been praying for 14 days. Mm -hmm. I mean praying praying and praying, spending time in the Word and, and, and getting on my hands and knees and my face. And I was sitting in line to get the COVID test and the Lord spoke to me. And this is what He said. And this was December the 1st of 2020. And He said millions and millions and millions, and He said millions three times, of people who thought they were saved are not. He said, hell is going to be full mm -hmm. with people who thought they were saved. And, and, and he even mentioned pastors. Mm -hmm. he, said, he, he said, there are going to be pastors in, in hell who thought they were saved. Joshua crossed Jordan after Moses' death. But he had to do a few things. And in the process of what God said do, God gave an instruction. For those that were in the operation of what God said do, and they were in the miracle of the parting of Jordan, but God gave a specific instruction that was not just for them, but was for their seed seed. Wow, that'll change your life. That'll change your understanding about what you're going through. Because you think the miracle is just for you. And it is just for you. But God speaks past, present, and future. Till next time, catch your dream. Catch your dream. In January of 2021, I saw another dream. And this dream came as words again. They came as big, bold letters. And this is what the dream said. It said the Antichrist, it came as a message, big bold letters, it came, the Antichrist will come out of the Middle East. And a few nights after that, God began to tell me that he was going to send me a dream about hell. And I saw, I guess this is what God showed me as maybe what hell is going to look like. I didn't really see the people, but I saw five divisions of hell. Um, they were spaces. Mm -hmm. I mean, they were, they were confined spaces. You, you, you couldn't leave. I mean, mm -hmm. the doors were shut. And in, inside of these five uh, d d d divisions, I saw the immensity of the heat. I felt the heat. Mm -hmm. It was a dry heat. It was a... It was so hot that it could melt anything. Mm -hmm. Melt anything. And the first one was that hot. And the fifth one was the hottest. Mm. 
And in, in uh, February 5th of 2020, the, the Lord spoke to me. And he said, again, he said, it's time to move forward. And in fe fe February of that same month, I saw, I saw my last dream. And I saw a table. And it was as far as the eye could see. And actually, it went into the distance. And it disappeared in the distance. Mm -hmm. And I saw a white I saw a white table and white cloth, the beautiful table. And I saw uh, white plates, just beautiful plates. And I saw candles lit and I saw food. And I mean, it was food of every kind. It was, it was just adorned with food. And, and, and I saw that, uh, that there's going to be a feast. Mm -hmm. when, uh, uh, when we get to heaven, Banquet, yeah. there's going to be a feast mm -hmm. waiting mm -hmm. for us. And then in, 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 in lately, the, the Lord has told me to begin to, to preach on Mark. And, and, and the reason why he said that, and I said, why? Yeah. And he said, and I said, what am I supposed to talk about? Yeah. He said, talk about me. He said, point everything to sure. me. Yeah. Point everything to me. And he said, and he began to say, Secure your faith in Christ. And when it means you're, that's plural. That means the believers. Right. Secure your faith in Christ. Begin to grow closer to Christ. Begin to make Christ your first love. Don't depend on the money. Don't right. depend on your jobs. Don't depend on this world. You put your faith in Jesus. Right. You depend on Him totally. And He said because persecution is about to go out. And, and so, so and, and the next word I heard, heard him say was, was spread the gospel, spread the gospel, mm -hmm. spread the gospel. This is the words I keep hearing mm -hmm. is spread the gospel. It's time to spread the gospel, spread the gospel. So once a week, I give a sermon on Facebook mm -hmm. and, and I'm still on the book of Mark and, and I talk about Jesus. I, I talk about securing mm -hmm. your faith in Christ. Mm. And so um, it's all about Jesus. It's, it's, mm. it's all about His love for us. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's, all, it's about what Jesus did on the cross. Mm -hmm. It's the payment that Jesus made. See, when we begin to understand the magnitude mm. of the cross, yeah. when we begin to partake in the feast of righteousness and the holiness, mm -hmm. That is, we pick up His Word, and the Word is the Bible, and we begin to read the Bible, and we begin to live by the standards right. that God has called us to live by. Mm -hmm. When we begin to separate ourselves from this world, and we begin to follow Jesus, yeah. and I'll wrap it up, Jesus says, I will make you fishers <laughs> of men. Yeah. And upon Jesus' resurrection, God completed His promise. Mm. God is in the restoration yeah. business. He's yes. come to restore humanity. He's come to restore humanity back to Him so yeah. that we can all live for eternity. Amen. And I can tell you, heaven is real. Mm -hmm. Hell is real. Yes. I didn't see hell and I didn't see heaven, mm -hmm. but I saw the abyss. Yeah. And the abyss is going to be deep and the abyss is, it, it, is going to be black. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, Robin Harding has written a book that is phenomenal. We want you to get your Dreamcatcher book. It's to help you. There's scriptures in here. There's blank pages. Did you just hear me? Blank pages. You can write down little notes and things that, that God shows you or a dream that God... Write it down and then refer to the scripture that's in this book. It's the Word of God. How many times have you ever seen the back of the book? We, as children of God, always have the Bible and say, we read the back of the book. <laughs> we win. This is one of the tools that will help you win. Get your copy of Catch Your Dream by Robin Harding. Listen to me.
get it. You have shown how God speaks in so many different ways. Sometimes it was in your thought. Everyone thinks that they, some people think that it has to be a voice. But for a long time you heard it in thought, and yet you knew it was Him. And then you heard His voice, and then sometimes it's written out. It's, I love how, in you as an example, how He has showed you how He talks to people in so many different ways. And so, it, you know, I hate the devil so bad that he would make people feel so unworthy that the fire, when I was talking to you about the fire, there's the fire I was talking about, and yet the enemy has been talking to you for so long saying, trying to quench that fire. That was why he was doing it, was he was trying to quench that fire. Uh, there was a time in my life after all this happened that, that, and we have to be careful what we hear. Sure. Um, there is the chatterbox. Mm -hmm. um, in, in 2000, in 19, um, when the Lord said it's time to move forward, mm -hmm. I went through two sets of attacks, and they were nine months apiece. Nine months, mm -hmm. and I'd get a break, and the Lord told me, He said, you're about to go through a much deeper attack. And then nine months occurred, mm -hmm. and it was constant. I mean, it was, it was, and every time the attacks were pointed at a different angle. Right. They they started at my faith. Mm -hmm. Then they started at another angle. Mm -hmm. And I've been going through recently my third set of attacks, and they're and that they're pointed at God's righteousness. Mm. And every time these get more intense, mm -hmm. I, I can tell you this: I couldn't have handled these third attacks. Right if I hadn't handled the first attack. Right, right. And, and, and that's how God gets us ready yes. for the battles, is that, is, is that God has to break us. Yeah. Well, you know, nine months is the gestation period of birth. Uh, uh, you, and so I, I did not. Well, I, 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 you thank know you that, for, but for making not, me worth it. Yeah. But that is that is what's going on. Yeah. And and you're in your third trimester. Oh wow! You're in the third. Well, I'm glad it's not over. And it, so it is almost over. Yeah. But and they get and it gets more intense. Yeah. It gets more intense. Yeah. But you just the way God has taken you from step to step to step and the broken. Mm -hmm. He uses the humble. Mm -hmm. And um, that's who God wants to, to use. Um, and, uh, well, he, he is using you and I believe it's just, I really believe it's just getting started. Uh, you have. Well, praise God. Yeah. I'm, as long as you continue with that, uh, that humble authority, that you walk in that yeah. humble authority, that it's your testimony. You know that this is true. You're not telling what someone else told you. Well, the one thing that I know that we should have is a fear of God. Yes. Um, I fear God. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I fear His power. Mm -hmm. I, fear, I fear His love. And, and mm -hmm. fear equates to love. Yes. And when you stand in the presence of the Lamb of God and you felt that Im immensity, and I can yeah. tell you, that that we will bow before the King of Kings. Yes. And the reason why we will is because we will see Him mm. and we will hear Him and we will feel His authority. Mm. And, I, and, I, and I knew I was in the presence of something more mightier yeah. than I was. Yeah. I, I, I felt His authority. I felt His power. Mm. And I fear God. I, 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 I fear God. And, and that's the reason why when God tells me to leave, yeah. If God tells me to go to do something, I, 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 I do it. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, so, sometimes I, I might try to bargain with God, mm -hmm. but, but I will tell you, God gets His way. Yeah. Yes, His will is going to go forth. Yeah, his, his, He will either use that person mm -hmm. or He'll go to somebody else. Yeah. But God's Word is going to be spoken. Yes, it. God's voice yeah. is going to be spoken, is yes. going to be heard. And I don't want to get to heaven... And him say, you know, I was going to use you, but instead, <laughs> meet Susie over here. Uh, 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 but you were afraid. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You, you were afraid right. to, to step out. Mm -hmm. you, you, you were afraid mm -hmm. to, 
Christ who say, Jesus, use me. Yeah. And, and that's what we got to do. Mm -hmm. uh, but we have to come to the realization that we have to have a, a communication God moving man. Yeah. There's got to be an interwoving process. Mm -hmm. And it is a process. Yes. It's a process of letting go mm -hmm. and saying, God, I'm yours. Yes. Nothing belongs to me. Yes. The money don't belong to me. Mm -hmm. This body don't belong to mm -hmm. me. The breath I breathe right. doesn't belong to me. Mm -hmm. And when, when, when we begin to have that air mm -hmm. of humbleness, yeah. then God says, I will come and rest mm -hmm. in you. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we could sit here forever, but um, just thank you for, for watching. I hope, I know that Jeremy blessed you. I want you to take what he said and apply it to your life. Jeremy, I just feel like you are, you've touched people in places where they live. Yeah. Where they live. Well, I've seen, I've seen the Lamb of God, and the reason why I cry is because uh, 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 of what he's done for me. Yeah. What, what, what I've seen, and, and those visions never leave me, though his power, his, the vision of, of the Lamb of God never mm. leaves my mind. Mm. Well, I feel like we know we're all going to bow, and as a child, I thought that was because he was going to force us to, but I believe even those who, who aren't going to make it to heaven are going to bow just because of his awesomeness. I think it's going to be oh, it's willingly doing yeah. it. Yeah, you're. We're all going to bow. Yeah, I, I was bowing there mm -hmm. in in my heart. Mm -hmm. I, I I showed the Lamb of God His authority. Mm -hmm. I, I I knew my rightful place. Right. And right. my right place is to be a servant. Is mm -hmm. is to is is to is to be a servant leader. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a huge difference. Yes. But between being an arrogant servant. Yes. And a servant leader. Yes. You, you know, Jesus led as a servant. Yes, he did. And, and he led them by loving them. Yes. You know, he, he, he didn't say, follow me, and then hit them over the head. Mm -hmm. He said, follow right. me. And he fed them. Mm -hmm. And he clothed them. And he mm -hmm. prayed over them. He took arrows for them. He, right. he, he, he became uh, their, their best friend. He, yeah. he, he put everything into these 12 men. He, he right. poured his life out into them. And as a result of his love, 11 of them followed him. Right. I think of uh, Revelation when the angel says to John, see the lion, but John sees the lamb. He does, don't he? But he's pointing to the lion. Yeah. But he didn't see that. He didn't see that roaring, the righteous. He saw the love. And you've made things so visible uh, to, 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 to me now. We can't always understand what it is the Lord asks of us, but we know that if we trust Him and we obey, it will always turn for good for those of us who love Him and who are called to His purposes. Catch us here next time on Dreamcatcher and catch your dreams.